I think that a very recognizable part of American culture is the art of um, French influence. It's something that was such a part of who we are and our, you know, here we are, we're so close to New York City. We see this. This is just a book about different letters that are part of the Art Nouveau experience, but, you know, do we like it, don't we like it? It's so recognizable to us that it's become part of our everyday life and might be a font or something that, that we choose just because it's so recognizable. We don't see it as French. We see it as just part of us. And it does let us in because we do know it so well. You know, it, it becomes very, very familiar. And if you look through here, not only will you see different types of lettering, but you see different types of designs around it. Let's us in. It becomes very familiar. It's the, it's the handle on the mug that you don't even notice the handle because you just reach for it. it it's made that beautifully. I want to go back to the, these plaques over here after. After? Okay, I'll go. Okay. One of the icons of style that we have grown up with is Picasso. Okay, Picasso like opened up the door for us to be able to say, hey, you know, like I want brush strokes, I want gesture, I want to know something. Um, I, I, I want to, sh this is all about uh, the ceramics that Picasso did and what he would do is he would hire people or people would just make pots for him and he would change them and do these wonderful things. So look at this face. This face is, is it beautiful? I, I wouldn't call it beautiful. Is it fun to look at? Absolutely. Um, I don't know what was going on through Picasso's mind. And we have to be careful not letting our egos out too much to say, oh, just because I did it, it's good. But I'm uh, not a fan of Picasso. We've spoken about that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think that Picasso did something. Here's another pot over here that I wanted to show you. Oh, this is drawing. Uh, Picasso did something that, I mean, this is a little too uh, male, you know, mm -hmm. for. That's exactly <laughs> it what it looks like. It looks very male. Uh, but here's a little smile. It could be, you know, a face and a nose. And, and listen, back then when he made this, you know, we weren't so exposed to explicit sexual everything everywhere. So people might have seen that as a nose and not as a, an appendage, a uh, male appendage. Um, he wasn't it's afraid, though. And this is style. This is, I'm going out there. I'm doing it. I'm expressing myself. Now, I think that maybe his style isn't something that we all enjoy, but I think that we can learn a lot from not being afraid to express ourselves with style and, and being out there. Now here's a series. This was he a really potter or did he hire people? He hired people to, to make his pot. Yeah. Here's a series of drawings. Now all of that looks so extemporaneous, right? Like, boom, I'm going to do it. Here's a series of drawings from figuring out what he's going to be doing with these pots. They're all line drawings. They're all beautiful. But here are pots going from a pot phase to looking like a sheep, from a jug phase to looking like a ram. Uh, these are all beautifully thought out, even in, even with that extemporaneous quality that that Picasso brought to most of his work. You know that whole space-time continuum thing. Um, and just to go through, here they are, in in all their glory. These are the pictures that we just saw him drawing over here. Uh, being vulnerable is 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 a scary place. 